Thomas and Stanley were now great friends. It had been a while since Thomas had his horrible accident, but his good friend Stanley took him to the works to be repaired and repainted. The work on Thomas was almost complete, but he was still feeling quite miserable. He required a few more safety checks before he could go back to work. So worry Thomas, puffed Stanley. Soon you'll be back out on the line, and maybe you'll even be stronger than I am. Thomas laughed. He was beginning to feel better. Fuck's sake, he said. I was supposed to be taking a goods train across the island today. I could take the train for you. I'm a very capable engine, boasted Stanley. Thomas was hesitant, but he accepted Stanley's offer to help. All right then, but be careful, and don't forget your brake van, it's essential. But Stanley chose not to listen to Thomas's advice. Brake van indeed, Stanley puffed to himself. I don't need a stupid brake van, I can manage without one. In no time at all, Stanley arrived at the yards, coupled up to Thomas's truck. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. If I shunt this train from the back, he thought, then I won't need a brake van, and I can show Thomas how strong I really am. With that, Stanley ran round to the back of the train to buffer up, ready to start. The trucks began to giggle. They were all too aware of Stanley's mistake. Soon, Stanley set off on the main line to deliver the goods to the other side of the island. He was working very hard and making good time. But it wasn't long before the trucks began to take advantage of him. As Stanley reached the top of Gordon's Hill, the trucks began their silly ways. The slack on their chains tightened and Stanley's control began to fade. Within seconds, his train began to move faster and faster. On, 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 cackled the trucks dragging Stanley behind them. The train began to fly down the hill at dangerous speeds. Stanley's wheels struggled to grip the tracks. Stop, stop, he cried. But the little pricks didn't stop. They continued to rattle and charge forward. Faster, 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 chanted the trucks. Stanley began to feel his couplings tighten more and more until... Stanley disconnected from the train, the trucks jumped a set of points and reared onto Thomas's line. Stanley was now stuck between the points and he could only watch as the trucks went on without him. Meanwhile, Thomas was back in working order and was on his branch line pulling an eagle. The three were having a wonderful time, when suddenly they heard some very mischievous laughter accompanied by pounding on the rails. Cinders and ashes, shouted Thomas as he slammed on his brakes and began to puff back quickly. The train bashed into Thomas's newly mended buffer beat. It was up to Thomas to stop the trains and trucks. Thomas pushed back against the trucks and they ground to a halt. Now where did you little arseholes come from? Were you part of my train that Stanley took? Well, never mind. Let's go and find your lost engine. Missing something? Thomas teased cheekily. Let's get you back on the rails and get these goods delivered. Soon, Stanley was indeed back on the rails and coupled to the train. In the end, Stanley knew that he wasn't as clever as he first thought, but he did know that it was a very fucking stupid idea indeed.